Hi everyone, it is Tuesday afternoon. It's really a nice sunny day and I'm excited because my mum and I are about to go into Ripon, which is a town not too far from us. I haven't been into Ripon for ages actually, so I'm looking forward to it. And we're going to do a bit of grocery shopping because we've still got a few bits and pieces to pick up, especially for Christmas Eve and that sort of thing. It's a bit of grocery shopping to do. And then we're also hoping to head to the Little Ripon Bookshop to do a little bit of book shopping because so kindly one of my lovely YouTube followers gifted us a book token which it, you can spend in any independent bookshop. And it was such a lovely gesture, so sweet. And Mum and I thought it'd be really fun to go into Ripon and go to a lovely independent bookshop there. So I'm really excited about that. But I'm having a think about what groceries we might need to get as well for Christmas Eve. Definitely smoked salmon because that's a staple for us for Christmas Eve. But I also was recently sent this cookbook. Oh, I'll try and show it to you. It's called A Taste of Home by Olivier Troellen. I'm not quite sure how you say his last name. But he is a French chef who's been based in the UK for quite some time. He started a French restaurant, I think, in Chester. I have to check that. And this is one of his cookbooks, which has been crowdfunded, which is amazing. So we've got his sort of fans to crowdfund this cookbook. And the publisher kindly sent it to me. There's some really lovely recipes in here. I've in fact got permission to use one of the recipes in an upcoming tea reads for January, because obviously there won't be any more tea reads now until January. But, so I'm excited to share one of the lovely baking recipes in here with you all. But there are also some other ones that I want to make myself in here and one of the recipes is for what is it called it's like a crab it's almost like a crab croque monsieur style thing only it is with croissants rather than bread and it really sounds amazing it's gruyere cheese and crab meat and it's melted over croissants and it just sounds so good i'm trying to find the recipe which now i can't find but i need to check what we need to make it and try and pick up those bits because i think that might be quite a nice thing to make on christmas eve as well obviously our christmas is pretty low-key this year it will just be mum and i so it's not like we're going to go all, all out on the food and we've got some lovely things to eat as it is so we'll probably just have quite a small roast on the day with a few trimmings and we've already got the Christmas pudding made which is lovely and we're not going to do much more than that but it would be nice to have something a little bit special but easy to make on Christmas Eve let me just find I'll find this recipe and then I can just tell you a bit more about it Okay, success, I found the recipe. So this is what it looks like. It's grab and, crab and gruyere croissants. I just think those look so luscious, so tempting, and just the sort of treaty meal that is so nice for Christmas, especially as it sounds actually really easy to do. So it uses tinned crab meat and although if you want to like make it ultra special then you could get fresh and croissants, gruyere cheese, spring onions, a little bit of creme fraiche, bit of salad, bit of chilli powder, ketchup, that's interesting, 
yum it sounds really good so i think we'll try and pick up the things needed for this because <laughs> i've got like my my mouth all set for this now it sounds so good and i'm looking forward to it but we'll be bringing you along to the bookshop and I'm really excited. I haven't been to this bookshop since before the lockdown in November. So I'm not even quite sure what they'll have in stock and things. So mum and I will see if we choose something that we both want or we'll each make a choice or something. I don't know, it'll be fun. <laughs> and I'll bring you along to Ripon. Oh, also if you are a Downton Abbey fan, then yes, Ripon is the town that is mentioned in Downton Abbey. It's their closest little village. It wasn't, however, filmed in the real Ripon. So the Ripon that you see in Downton Abbey isn't what the real Ripon looks like. But it is a really attractive, quaint market town still. And there are some great little shops. And I think it's still quite fun that we're not too far from where Downton Abbey was meant to be in Ripon and all of that. So we'll take you in with us and do a bit of book shopping. See you then. So we're here in Ripon, we've just parked in the market square and we're going to head to the bookshop. It's actually really busy it is. today, um, obviously the run up to Christmas and everything, so not going to be showing you around Ripon a lot today, we'll do that sometime when it's quieter yes, I yes. think, but as I said, uh, follower on YouTube so kindly emailed us a little book token and we know of a really lovely independent bookshop in Ripon called the Little Ripon Bookshop. Let's face it we love going to a bookshop don't we? <laughs> yeah I mean yes, thank you for giving it, us yes, an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was such a kind thought thank you so much and yeah. we thought it would be fun to bring you along with us so you can see us spending. <laughs> <laughs> the That's token. Sure, that'll be lovely. Yes. All right. Better get on. Yep. The Little Ripon Bookshop first opened in 2009 and is a family-run bookshop in the heart of Ripon. It's one of my favourite places to browse for books as there's a lovely selection of titles as well as attractive stationery and paper from Cambridge Imprint. There is also an impressive children's book selection as well as a shop book club which I think is lovely. After a thorough browse, we bought some fabulous books, which I'll share with you later in this video. Hello 
again so it's now the next morning it's actually quite early in the day and it's so dark <laughs> that i've put the christmas lights on to just feel a little bit more christmasy <clears throat> sorry if my voice is a bit croaky it's because i've only had one cup of tea <laughs> so far this morning but there's quite a lot to do actually i mean fun things which is nice because we're really just winding down now before christmas we're actually going to go back into ripon this morning because we didn't get to a shop we really wanted to try to go to yesterday which is a lovely little antique shop and we bought a few things from there when we first moved to Yorkshire in the summer and we just wanted to pop in because there are definitely a few things that have been on our list for ages that I'd like to get as maybe a little Christmas present for both of us. I don't know what's still actually available in the shop though. So we're just going to go in and have a look and do a little bit of fun Christmas shopping, hopefully pick something out that we'll both really love to have in the home. And we have a few Christmas cards to drop off as well while we're in Ripon. And then we're going to come back and have a really lovely festive afternoon where I will show you the books that we picked out from the Little Ripon bookshop yesterday. Hopefully we'll also have something from this antique shop that I like and we're also going to do a little present book exchange. <laughs> Not surprisingly my mum and I have pretty much just bought each other a few books for Christmas and I thought it would be fun if we opened two or three of them together so that you can see some of the books that we got each other although you will already have seen <laughs> um, a lot of the books I got for my mum but it should still just be a really fun thing to do hopefully and it will be lovely and festive so I will try and take you along to this shop that I love in Ripon so you can have a look at it too. I really recommend it if you're ever in the area. It's some full of some lovely things. So we're going to go do a little Christmas shopping for us which will be really fun and then we'll come back and do a bit of a gift swap as well. So I'm excited. So back in Ripon Mum's just getting the parking ticket and then we're going to head and do a little bit of shopping. It is pouring with rain, really not a very nice day and Mum and I aren't great shoppers anyway. We don't actually like shopping that much or our ideal shopping is essentially what we've been doing. One trip to the bookshop, one trip to a little lovely antique shop and that's sort of it. Um, so... That's what we'll be doing, heading into Andy's antique shop, which I'm really excited to show you around. Number One North Street is a must visit if you love antiques. The shop owner, Andy, is so helpful and his place is a real treasure trove. We bought our beds, as well as a Davenport desk and a stunning writing chest from Andy when we first moved to Yorkshire, and we love to pop in and see the latest stock whenever we can. got back quite a while ago but then we were interrupted in, we had in to, a nice in way. a very nice yes, way in a nice it way was very nice I can't talk about it really no. on, on this but it was a nice interruption but we had to go and do something and it took some time yeah but we're um, here now but we're just being now. fed and watered yeah finally yeah. <laughs> no breakfast <laughs> no lunch oh my goodness <laughs> She gets hungry. <laughs> yeah. Hungry. Yeah. 
I don't know actually, but no, you weren't. You weren't. <laughs> yeah, so a bit of toast, a bit of camembert, and a cup of tea. tea. And we're new women. We're new women. Yeah. yeah. So, and I can't wait to share these goodies with you because, oh my goodness, we love Andy's shop so much. It is lovely, and it was so quiet. It was just us. It was just us in there, so we got to yeah. browse properly. I hadn't been in for ages, no. not since the summer. No, and I'd only pop by briefly just to pick something up. Exactly. That time. So, yes. yeah. So it was so nice to go back and have a proper little browse, yeah. and we did pick up some treats for each other. We did. It's a Christmas. lovely little sort of Aladdin. Cove type of shop because it's yeah. got all price ranges, all bits and bobs and things, but, yes. but some really lovely things. That's what's so and, nice. You yeah. can find things for under ten pounds, yeah. which we which did. We did. <laughs> and there are pricier things too if you want something a bit more special. But there's so much in there; it's really fabulous. Yeah. So I'll show you what we got. This I've been looking for lovely biscuit tins. Yes. I'm going to show you this one. There you go. I've been looking for really pretty biscuit tins. And so I was so pleased to find this one. Isn't it pretty? Which is really pretty. It is. I think that's okay. Yes. yes. And we both really liked it. We didn't do. We? we both love old tins. Yes. And it's something too when you're giving things away at Christmas biscuits and cakes and mince pies yeah. or whatever, sometimes just to have some old vintage tins. I know. It just make it, it so such much a lovely special gift thing to give. It? Yes. Yes. But but this one would keep. This one would keep. <laughs> yes. This is a gift for us. <laughs> <laughs> and then inside. Yeah. You and found the wrapped everything up for us. Yeah. Yes. I found this little thing really just a trinket yeah but a little gift for me because i love as you've probably noticed if you've been watching my youtube channel i love just little pieces of costume jewelry yeah that are a little bit glitzy yes so i found this little necklace that Andy it is had. so sweet it's so yes. sweet isn't yes, it it, really it sits is. really nicely on the neck i can't really show it in this dress yeah but no it's doubt, a really nice you'll be seeing yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. So you can see. It's very pretty and dainty. It is. Yeah. So really nice. I was really pleased to find that. It's always nice to get some little trinkets yes, to wear. exactly. Yeah. And um, do you want to do some of them? Well, no, I'll do the two that aren't. Oh, right. You right, so I'll do these. Oh. So we've... There's a there's a second floor you can go upstairs in in the little yes, shop. Yes, and there are always things on, on the, the staircase that yes. look really interesting. And you spotted these. I did, and I love twisted wooden candlesticks. Yes, sticks. and we've I been looking have. for more candlesticks. Yes, because we don't have very many. No, um, oh. and this we we loved it, but to us it's very hygge in the winter. To yes, have. to light a lot of candles. Yes, and we just liked. We just like the simplicity of these. Yes, but there's a bit of style to them too. Um, yeah. Yeah, we wanted some wooden ones. Yeah. So we really so happy hence, with that. We also went to the shop just down the road. Oh, yes. And, and bought candles because we're actually running a little on candles. Oh, oh a bunch of candles. <laughs> but um, we chose some nice colours. Yes. Red. Yeah. Let's see if they actually fit. And white. Oh, I hope they do. Oh, they do. That's oh, they do. Perfect. That's lucky. That's very lucky. We haven't actually tested that. <laughs> also, so they're very that they nice. Fit. They look really nice. Actually, yeah, they? yeah. Very pleased Maybe with those. Yeah. And um, yes, there's a nice Christmassy colours, red and white. Yeah. And then some non-Christmassy colours, but favourite colours of yes, ours. obviously. Pink and blue. blue. Yeah, so, can't go wrong, can you? No, so, and that was a new shop we discovered. Yes, it was. Just this time, really. Yes. And it's called Fig and Willow. It's a lovely little shop. It was a really nice yeah. little shop. So. Yeah, it had a lot of like sort of pretty candles and diffusers, things like that. Yes. And I love yeah. this one next. Yes. Talking of candlesticks. Yes. We didn't stop there. No. But we've been looking and looking for some to go on the mantelpiece in yeah. the kitchen. That you will see that mantelpiece in a lot of our videos, all of the tea wreaths ones. We sit in front of it because the working fire is in that one. And 
Just be careful with these. And yeah. we don't have the right candlesticks for it. No, but now we're hoping. Yes, now we're hoping. We love them anyway. We love them anyway, but we also hope these will look really nice on the mantelpiece in the kitchen. And so we've been looking for something obviously not too expensive as yes. well. Yes. And we saw these in Andy's shop. Yes, We just thought they're perfect. We love yeah. Wedgwood. We'll hold them a little bit closer. You can see. So we were just really happy to, to find those. I think they're going to look yes. lovely. And they should I look lovely with our blue blue and white candles I know. Too. I hope that they fit too. Shall yeah. we test one? We'll test one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> Perfect. This has not always been true in our lives. The number of no. times. <laughs> The doesn't, doesn't yeah, I can't to get the knife out and shave <laughs> yes. them off. I'm so pleased with these. Yes. Um, I can't wait to put them on the mantel. It'll, it'll look lovely. Yes. And we do love blue and white things. Yes. Blue and white china we adore. So that fits really well with our theme. Yeah. And then next thing was actually, shall I do this? Because this was yes. a bit more... Um, Probably, well, both of us loved this. Yes. Well, exactly. I think you were really knowing that this would be something. I've got a real soft spot. Yes, this was really my gift to mum. Yes. And, but I thought it would be fun to go together so you could pick out which one you wanted. That was very, very kind. Yes. And absolutely amazing. We love Moorcroft. Yes. And Andy's shop has some beautiful... Moorcraft vases and little pieces and we've been looking at them for months. Yes, trying to decide. Yes. Um, which... But then you saw this one yes, today. Yes, this was the one that really took my eye. As Hope of Spring because yes, it's, exactly. it's the Magnolia yes. one. You can watch it. <laughs> that way. That way. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, so beautiful. Yeah, thank you, honey. I love it. Oh, I'm so glad. I mean, we're, we're both going to love putting yes. flowers in this. I know, I'm sure I'll be using it in photos too, but I'm really glad you picked this one out. Yes, I I, I I just knew that both of us would love that. And again, it's just, I love pinks and greens. and Yes, I know, perfect. you do too. And yeah. we both love florals, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. And I think, oh, that's so pretty. I'm yes. sorry I don't have flowers to put in it. No, no actually, actually, that's I should have right. thought of that. <laughs> don't worry, we didn't have time to do that as well. <laughs> but we will put flowers in this as soon as possible. And then this really was more mine to you. Yes. So yes. you go ahead and okay. take Actually, it's the other way. Okay. Oh no, it's that way. That's right. It's this way, yes. Yeah. Yes, because I was saying that I love blue and white china. And one of my, well, I collect two main blue and white china. The Burley, the Asiatic pheasant, yeah. which I love. And then also the Italian spode. Yes. In the blue and white. And we have the beautiful spode teacup. That were actually a gift. Yes. But I I haven't had the teapot no, so until very now. <laughs> yes, again, Andy has a lovely collection. Um, yes, a beautiful of of spouse. And Burley actually yes. who I've picked up a few odd things. And but this is perfect in perfect look, shape. Isn't that lovely? Looks like it's never been used. Yeah, it's perfect. It's in perfect condition which is wonderful it does look brand new and I chose the smaller size yes it because just, well it's a lovely size that will do two is. cups for we'll sure we'll do two cups for sure I often quite like smaller sizes for photography and also for my more specialties if I'm yeah. just drinking them yeah and then this is a really nice size that we show you I'm sure you can see I love so the type pretty. of Christmas gifts that you get enjoyment all year round, just using well, them every exactly. day. You it's know? lovely to, for one, gift things that will last, you know, you'll keep forever. Yes. Hopefully, anyway. Yes, unless your mother drops it, <laughs> takes it. 
I'm no, not. But things that, you know, we'll use for years and yes. years and years and that we love. And also yeah. that we'll see and use every day, which we will yes. with all these things, the candlesticks, the lovely bars, the yeah. teapot. I mean, we don't want to put so things in cupboards and, and not use them. No, so to have no. things that we really will use. And then I said to Andy, oh, you know, something we need is actually a, a couple of glasses for champagne that yeah, aren't flutes. Yeah, little stuff, because yes, we yeah. only had flutes. Yes. And he actually gave these to, to us as a little gift, which was so sweet of him. So, so I think I'm going to be washing these up. Yeah, we'll wash these up. Yeah. And then I think these call for a little bit of bubbling. I think so too. <laughs> yes, maybe we'll be showing them later filled. Yes. Because, yes. well... As you can see, in general, we're very laid back about gifting. We are. We tend, as I've said already, we tend to buy each other gifts all through the year, so we don't go all no, out. No, we have a, really a very small amount on Christmas Day. Day. Just yes. a little stocking things and, yes. and a few little things. And in fact, this year, because a few of your things, I'm sad to say, haven't made it yet, <laughs> it might be even less than usual for you. <laughs> <But>. <laughs> But what's so special for us is to be able to go together and do go to a really nice little shop yeah. that we already know we like and just pick out a few little things for each other. And, you know, a nice little independent retailer like that. You want yes. to support the high street, whatever. Yes. And, you know, he um, does has lovely stuff. And yes. It's such a joy today to just it was. do that. So low-key, one shop... Yes. Shop, shop with candles or just a short way away. That was it. it. Was that, just, was that was it. Well, shopping. said already, yeah. we're not good shoppers. That we don't actually enjoy shopping no. very much. Pop so books. Well, but yes. yeah, that is the exception. <laughs> we can spend hours <laughs> driving <laughs> everybody <laughs> else mad. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we always have energy for a bookshop, but for other things, not so much. But so this is perfect for us. But we've got some. Well, I've got some presents that are no, wrapped. I've got, we're going to open a few. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just um, to share. Speaking of books, we yeah. are going to share a few of the books that we've got for each other on here. Yeah. So, if I get them. Uh, yeah, you I actually finished wrapping. I think have finished wrapping. I'm a terrible wrapper. <laughs> but never so, mind, I'll be doing that. You can wash up the, 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 the yes, I'll wash up all of, yes. all of these things <laughs> and put them see away. See you shortly. And we will we'll see you shortly. Okay, here we are, ready for present We're opening. ready. We have our... Bubbles in hand. Yes. Some lovely Prosecco from my Uncle Grant. Thank you yes. very much. Thank you, Grant. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas to Merry you Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That's oh. lovely and bubbly. Mmm. 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 And our new glasses, all nicely washed yes, and ready. All lovely. New glasses. <laughs> also, a lovely gift. I'm feeling very yes, spoiled. Yes, <laughs> we are indeed. And more to come. More to come. Yeah, show oh, yes. We have glasses. to show yeah. the lovely books that we got in Ripon yesterday in the little Ripon bookshop. So, I'm really excited to show you these. Where did I put them? Oh, Here. That side. Yeah. Thank you so much again to Lisa for the amazing book token. Thank you, Lisa. We yes. had so much fun. We had so much fun, and I think we chose something that we were both really going to enjoy yes. that will hopefully inspire a lot of uh, vlogging. <laughs> vlogging trips when we can <laughs> when travel. We can travel. <laughs> when we can do it, we'll be doing it. Yeah. And um, we chose this book as the sort of main book for both of us. Yes. It's called Bronte Places and Poems. I'll hold it. I'll hold it up. And it's by G. R. Taylor and C. E. Taylor. I know Lisa. You were originally from Yorkshire, yes, so it was extra appropriate. Yes, extra appropriate to choose one about Yorkshire and the Brontes in Yorkshire. And isn't it a joy to browse in a bookshop? Because we actually didn't know this no, book had been I, published I this year. I think it's been self-published oh, in effect even sort amazing. of independently published yes. I think by the look of it but it's full of amazing photographs and information all about the Brontes mainly in Yorkshire but a bit beyond as well and I can't wait to 
read this and about all of the places that they either visited or inspired them in some way. Yeah, it looks so, gorgeous. So thank you. Thank you very much. But we didn't stop there. We didn't stop there. No. We got one other book that we both thought looked really interesting. Yes. yes. And that's this lovely new edition that we just... Yeah. See if I can focus this. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, yeah, the snowball. Look at that cover. I think it's gorgeous. Mm. And it's the new Faber edition. And it's by Bridget. 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 I think, I, I, would you say Bridget or just Bridget? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Brophy. <laughs> Brophy. Yeah. And it's set on New Year's Eve, so I thought that was quite an appropriate Clever. choice. Yes, you saw And we're both one. Yeah, quite keen to read this, yeah, aren't we? we so I thought that would be lovely. Yeah. And then <laughs> because yeah. we couldn't no. not buy something ourselves too. <laughs> um you spotted this. Yes. And we both fell in love with it because yeah. we're both huge Emily Sutton fans. We've been wanting it for a while. It's we just, have. I haven't seen it. So in no, the bookshop, exactly. so it's so just lovely. It, a little Christmas display. Yes, because the Little Ripon Bookshop has a lovely children's section, which is quite big. And they have a lot of really good books in there. And this was one of them. So it's Catherine Randall's One Christmas Wish. I've already read it. Such a sweet little story about some broken ornaments that come alive and keep a young boy company on Christmas Eve and make his Christmas wish come true. It's really sweet. Yeah. And yes, I love that Emily Sutton cover and the illustrations all through it. I, I think this looks like York Minster. Isn't it gorgeous? Just stunning. Yeah, so special. It looks very Chagall in a way. You know, the, the sort of angel yes, in the sky. I know. And the colours. And yeah. just all of her illustrations are gorgeous. And I have to show you, well, this one is rather lovely. Mm. Really like. It's the sort of picture that you want to step one. into. You do. You want to step into. I have to show you the last one because oh, who wouldn't want to step into this Christmas. <laughs> Isn't that perfect? Yes. So really thrilled. So we got that and then when we bought this, yeah. we actually filled up our little loyalty what do they call cards. them? Loyalty cards. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so we filled our little loyalty card, which meant that we had ten pounds. Yes. A little voucher and to spend. Know, <laughs> so that put a hole in our pocket so far. So far. No, we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we picked up this. So it's Sorry for the Dead by Nicola Upson. And I've been getting more into the Josephine Tay Nicola Upson books, and I didn't have this one yet. And I really wanted this one because it says summer. 1915, a young woman falls to her death at Charleston Farmhouse on the Sussex Downs, but was it an accident? Well, we love Charleston. Yes, we We've do. We've been to Charleston many times. It was the home of Vanessa Bell, Virginia Woolf's sister. Virginia Woolf lived very close to Charleston Farmhouse, and it was a pivotal meeting place for the Bloomsbury Group generally, and it's a very special house. And I think setting a, a mystery yes. there, so partly clever. involving Charleston Farmhouse, is a brilliant idea. So we got that with our voucher. Yes. So we did very well indeed. We did, yes. Yeah. So, yes, thank you very much again. But now it's like... Now it's time we're for... Giving, we're giving each three of our, our yes, Christmas books we've to open we've today. We've selected three each. Yes. We do have some more for Christmas Day. Yes. But we're not going to open them all <laughs> now. So we've chosen three for each one. Yes. So do you want to start? I'll start. And may I say how beautifully wrapped yours are. Oh, thank you. Yes. I did... Uh, Cambridge yeah, imprint. The Cambridge imprint paper. I must say that normally Miranda always is the one who does the wrapping. Um, yeah. Not of her own presence, but of everybody else. <laughs> because <laughs> you can't really get me to be my own presence. No, but from a very young age, I had <laughs> got you out there with the wrapping paper and the salt. I'm not tape. even that good a wrapper, but you're, you're really <laughs> not. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll see this later when she gets to hers. <laughs> Oh, this yeah. is beautiful. I can't wait to see what you've got me. 
<laughs> and you have to look inside okay. on the title page. Oh my god, it's signed. Yes. Oh, thank you <laughs> so much. Okay. This is an author that I don't know if you know this. She's not as well known as I feel she should be. Um, she writes marvelously, and I have. She writes fiction and non-fiction. Yeah. These are her Sybil short stories. I should say Sybil Marshall. This yeah. book's called The Checkerboard, which is a selection of her short stories. And I love her. I've loved her for so long. She, uh, I just love her. I mean, I've got them all, I think, in paperback. But Miranda, um, I said to her the other day, oh, you know, this one's falling apart. They are a bit tatty, I must <laughs> admit. And I have never had the gorgeous hardcover. <laughs> so this is such a treat. Thank oh, you. And to have a signed one. Well, I thought that was extra special. Let me show it to the camera. All right, all right. Because I have actually shown people, as you know, some of the presents. Oh, that right. I've got right. I've got that. Sorry. <laughs> um, you, didn't, you didn't see them. No, you I didn't. didn't see them. She wouldn't let But some so of much. my followers would have seen that video. But they didn't see this one. I didn't actually show um, this one. And I did manage to find. Let me see if I can. A signed copy. So I, I, so oh, I knew you'd like it, really. Oh. But I'm so glad that because your paperbacks are really tatty. It bothers her more than it bothers me, <laughs> but it is true. Yes, but yes. they are lovely. They are, backs. and these will be much sturdier. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. I'm so thrilled. Oh, thank I'm you. Glad. Thank you. You're Open your first one. I okay. should <laughs> give a little explanation about this. Yes, maybe you should as well. <laughs> This I'll oh, not look too closely. Well, we kept it in hand. You could have like normally. I always just give her her presents. In like they're a marvelous invention. These bags for presents, right? Yes. Who who wants to be fiddling around with all the wrapping? Anyway, however, Miranda said, "Oh, you have to wrap them." So I said, "Oh," <laughs> I said, "Well, okay, I'll give it a try." And this was my attempt at wrapping and getting it a bit crafty. <laughs> yes, I don't yeah. think you'll be famous on Pinterest too soon. <laughs> So in the end, um, what I did was I said, please, can I just use a bag? And we had we had been given a present in this one. So it wasn't even that. I had to run out and buy it. I no. should <laughs> we just do that. We're, we're keeping it real. We're keeping it real. Hello, Kate. Well, Christmas really Day. Wrap. I don't know. That's right. Yeah. However, I do appreciate that you made. The <laughs> well, I did make well. a effort with that star. Yes. I think, you know, look, credit where it's true. It looks a bit pathetic, really. <laughs> anyway. I don't think I'm crafty. <laughs> Well, the thought was there. Yeah, I tried. That's, that's what the talk helps. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Also, I waste so much paper. I don't know how to do the trimming bit. I always <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. The new girl's gone by one. Yes. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. I'm so, so pleased. I to got have this from this. Miranda because she loves Elizabeth Googe. And, I do. Um, I know you want to visit Wells. I know you want to visit Ely, both of which are uh, yes. cities when we can. Yes. And, and this, this, this book has been out of print. It's yeah. so expensive. Well, we Impossible had a copy, but of course it didn't make it. We There's had like a copy so in the States. It's yeah. <laughs> really um, frustrating. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but when I saw that they were actually, Girls Gone By were going to be reprinting yes. this one. I'm so wonderful. thrilled. That's perfect. Thank you. I can't wait to read this. No, I'm thought, really interested to read. I thought you'd more enjoy getting that, life, so, so you could read it. You know, maybe tonight and tomorrow night before Christmas too in bed. Oh yes, that's a nice idea. Oh, thank yeah. you. You're very welcome. You honey. have to open your yep, next, one, next now. one for me. Yeah, oh, a nice solid one here. My yes. goodness, I'm beautifully <laughs> wrapped. <laughs> This looks very William Morris, doesn't it? This pattern. Yes, I think it is that William Morris like. Inspired range or something. Huh? Wow, beautiful. Yeah. I love I love their paper. Yes, it's so such good pretty. quality. Really good quality. Yeah. And save it and make some more stars. Yes, yeah, so I should be careful. <laughs> Trying to peel other things off. Hold on. Well done. There we go. Ooh. Oh, Miranda. Mm -hmm. Ha! <laughs> 
I'm sure, <laughs> did you share? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yes, I can't think of anything that will be more fun. We've got the companion volume, volume really. We do, about Eric Rubinius. Yes. This is yes. by the same writer. It is, Andy Friend. And this came out the end of October. I didn't realise at that time. No, but and then I saw brilliant. it. And, did you? Yeah, I yeah. thought it would be perfect for you. Oh, it is. You really like John Nash's I do. Work. I do very much. And, and I'm fascinated by that period and the artist's influence and everything. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And one of your favourite writers, Ronald Bly, yes. lived in his old yes. house, didn't he? Yeah. So I thought, yeah, I don't yeah. know if that will touch on it at all, but. It'd be very interesting to find mm -hmm. out. But no, this is going to be something I'll really enjoy yeah. reading. <laughs> Oh, good. You'll like it too. I know. We're, oh, the lovely thing. Well, that's a nice. Whatever we get to buy read each other, it's like presents to me as they well become as you part and... of our communal <laughs> <laughs> collection. That is lovely. You open right. your next okay. one. Just dip, I'll, I'll your just dip my in. hand in. Yeah. And pull it out. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I've been really wanting this. <laughs> I did know. Yeah. Oh, I'm so pleased. Thank you. I've really been wanting this book. It's The Landscapes of Anne of Green Gables. See if you can see it. Well. And I love Anne of Green Gables, and it's like my dream to visit Prince Edward Island. Yes. Sometime. Yes. I love that. And but this is the next best thing it's to go the next in there. Because <laughs> it's, it's so it's, many. It's gorgeous. I had a good look through. It and it is lovely. gorgeous. I can't wait to read this. The photos are beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I've been really wanting this one. Thank you very much. Oh, no. It's a pleasure when you know somebody wants something and has been looking at it literally for years, <laughs> is my feeling. And I know. I don't know when this came out, but I feel like I've been wanting it yes. for a long time yes you have and it's always been um, one that you've been about to buy and then something so, else you yes don't. yes yeah. exactly but i'm so pleased to have it thank good. you good right, right on your last, last one. one i expect other people don't just give books like no. <laughs> whoops oh, oh, i started okay. that one yeah um yes well we are probably quite predictable yes that way. we are <laughs> If if we're going to give you a present, it's oh, most wow. likely to be a book. Oh, the Queen Mother. Yes, or you have to look inside and see okay. who um, some of the stories are by. Look at that. That and is a beautiful. The description is lovely. Yeah, <laughs> it is just such beautiful script. But didn't they? That was 1939. Mm -hmm. That's when this was published, at Christmas time. It was Christmas 1939. Aww. It came out. This but is a has, beautiful book. It has so many well known. You see, it has an O'Douglas story. I got it because it has O'Douglas, Dorothy Whipple, um, E.M. Delafield. Oh, there's a Georgette Hare as well. Wonderful. And Ruby Ferguson. Wonderful. Like it's full Mrs. of so Memory's many. visitors. That must be little um Lady Rose and Mrs. Memory that that's part oh, of that yeah. story. And also um there's a Jan, Jan Struther, Strother, Anthony Bridge, da Wow. How wonderful. And also I noticed here there's um Dennis McKell, that's um Angela Ferkel's brother who wrote the one. Yes, that's um, right. Greenery it? Street. Greenery yes. Street. That is yeah. wonderful. Yeah. The second book. Yeah. Oh yeah. So many treasures in this. Yes. That is lovely. This was another book that we used to have, you know. Did and we? Yes. I yeah. didn't remember that. But sadly, no, no longer, of course. So many but books how wonderful. Got left yeah. I mean, I love this book. Thank you. That is such you a did. thoughtful. You're going to love it too, obviously. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I will, but. There'll be so much in here. I know you love all those authors too. So, yeah. yeah, that's a Laura Knight. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Just hold that up. I'm not very good at holding there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. And is there one more for you? One more for me. Yeah. Oh, let me see. Oh, wow. A Traveller in Time by Alison Upley. Beautiful edition. Oh, I it's loved this book when I was it? little. Yeah. 
I know you love the country child and all yes, that. Yes, I love that I one. Mean, you, you love, I, I mean, you've got the oh, little yeah. grey rabbit. It, oh, it's I love beautifully you. illustrated. Yes. And I think when we can travel again, we must <laughs> this go. This chair is really squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> we must go to Derbyshire. And because oh, that's yes. where this yes. was set. I can't wait. I know. Well, hope once it's safe, yes. we will be doing yes. all of that. Safe when we're allowed. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It's in really nice shape. Oh, I'm so pleased, Tanya. Oh, I love the old edition. Yeah, we only had a book. We only had an old um, paper paperback. Paperback. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I haven't seen the hardback. That's wonderful. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I'm feeling really festive yes, now, I yes. have to say. Right, let me pass you a little bit <laughs> of merriment. Mine, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope that you have a lovely Christmas. I know it's going to be a harder and yeah. sadly a lonelier Christmas for so many people this year. But we are just really looking forward to 2021 yes. and hopefully happier times, happier times safer times, healthy times ahead. Yes. And we are very grateful that we live together, we're spending this Christmas together. Yeah. Yeah, um, so I have to put up with it, but you know, I, I, I do my best. <laughs> Well, and we're taking a break now yes. until January. Probably we'll come back on the 6th of January. You can well imagine what we're going to be doing. Yes. <laughs> Lots of reading. Yeah. <laughs> until then, and we hope that you have a really wonderful Christmas. Yes. Enjoy some downtime with a good book, and we'll see you in the new year. Yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.